I went on a date and we were meeting at the restaurant. But the restaurant, due to COVID, you have to wait outside, right? Until your party's there, until your table's ready. So I waited outside for said dude for 30 minutes. Couldn't be bothered to be on time. And when he finally shows up, he had the huevos to say, wow, you're prettier than your picture. Well, I don't know what filters people are using, but but my filters don't change my face. They just take out some of the, the old. He then proceeds to apologize for being 30 minutes late and says to make up for it, he'll buy me a drink. So my question is, if a man asks you out, shouldn't he already be paying for dinner? And then if he's 30 minutes late, his um, I went on a date. <laughs> guys, sometimes these videos, man, they're just so hilarious. I want to just ask you guys the question. Um, for those of the guys in the audience who have been dating recently and that sort of thing, uh, how often do women flake on you? How often do women show up late? How often do girls who look like this, except in their 20s, uh, lead men on for attention. You know, when girls like this complain about a guy flaking or not showing up or not spending money on them or not paying for the date, I don't care. And the reason why I don't care is because these people have had plenty of opportunity to secure a mate early in life. Now, before we crack into today's video, guys, I want to point out, you guys can't see, but off the screen, um, we've got the hashtag over here, hashtag divorced, hashtag single mom, hashtag mom of TikTok, Hashtag mom life, hashtag single mama, um, hashtag where are all the good men. Now, this, this lady not only expects to be taken out on a date and, uh, you know, just, just courted, you know, the, the man has to pay for the date. How crazy is that? Uh, but what is going on, guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's show, guys, we're going to be breaking out, uh, breaking down, excuse me, this particular TikTok here, as well as looking at a couple of stories relating to uh, men not paying on the first date, you know, because it really riles up their feathers when men are saying, hey, wait a minute, um, I'm not going to pay for this woman on the first date uh, because I want to see if she's going to use me for my money. First of all, I'm going to see if I even help, even if I like her to start with. But guys, but if you're new here, you're liking the videos, make sure you subscribe on your way in. Come and join the Discord link in the description if you haven't already. And as always, if you'd like to support the channel, guys, make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description. If you're looking to become a supporter of, a ch of the channel, that's a great way to do it. And the link for that is somewhere below in the description box. Uh, but guys, we're going to we're gonna jump into this and we're going to listen to it one more time, kind of break it down, and then we'll get into today's stories, all right? So let's get on with it. Wait and we were meeting at the restaurant. But the restaurant, due to COVID, you have to wait outside, right? Until your party's there, until your table's ready. So I waited outside for said dude for 30 minutes. Couldn't be bothered. Okay, this is the first thing. Uh, nobody cares that you had to wait 30 minutes. You see, girls like this have made plenty of men wait for an hour and then not shown up. Okay, girls are the girls will flake on guys left and right. If you're a guy right now and you're trying not to date, I know I've got a lot of, a lot of guys over here who are not dating at the moment, uh, and rightfully so. Um, but for the guys who are dating, you know there's a bit of a, a flake issue going on at the moment. Girls just so when girls can turn around and complain, especially when they're older, especially when they're single mothers, um, nobody cares. Like, and I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just saying like nobody cares. You see, <laughs> girls like this are the, uh, literally the, the number one reason why flakes happen anyway. So when they complain about getting flaked on, man, yeah. Be bothered to be on time. And when he finally shows up, he had the huevos to say, wow, you're prettier than your picture. The funny part about those sorts of comments <clears throat> is that they really throw girls off guard, right? Because uh, she, <laughs> the, the implication that it, there is that on, online, she's not that pretty. And man, girls hate it when you, are <clears throat> when you say that they aren't pretty. Like all of, they derive all of their self-worth, all of the care that they have, the quote unquote care for themselves that they have. Um, it comes from how they feel as though they look to other people. Okay, so when, when you say, oh, well, uh, you looked uh, 
you look better in person. Those hours and hours and hours she spent setting up her social media presence to look like someone valuable, you've just told her it's all for nothing. So she has to go home and reevaluate her life decisions and uh, remake her Instagram so that she can try, try and attract the next guy. It, bl it blows their mind, man, when, uh, when not everybody thinks that they're pretty. It shatters their whole worldview because that's what their worldview is built on. But let's get going. Well, I don't know what filters people are using, but, m but my filters don't change my face. They just take out some of the, the old. Uh, it, that's changing your face. That, that's literally changing your face. If you're changing your face to look a different age, you're changing your face. I think she's probably using one right now, to be honest. Like, I'm unfamiliar with the, the filters that are in this app, but I'm pretty sure she's using one here. Um, at the very least, she, you know, she's got makeup on and all that. Okay. Like, she's dressed up to make this video, by the way. Like, she, she see, what she's done is she's dressed up her face, right? And she's tried to make herself appeal good, uh, appear good. But then what she's also done is she's put on clothes that make her look like, oh, yeah, I was just chilling in bed. I've done no preparation. You, you see that? So she's done the preparation, but at the same time, she's trying to make it not too obvious that she's altered her appearance. Girls will do this thing, guys. This is the trick that girls do. Um, if you invite a girl, if a girl comes over to your house uh, for some for some bedroom fun, shall we say, uh, and she, particularly if, if it's the first time and she hasn't had a lengthy experience with you, let's just say you haven't taken her on a date and she's just come over to your house uh, kind of thing, she knows what's up. Okay, but what girls will do is oftentimes they'll uh, pull this trick and s one similar to it where they might be wearing um, some lingerie or something like that. But what they'll do is they'll mismatch the pieces or they'll like mismatch what they're wearing underneath um, so that when, when fun time happens, they can go, oh, I wasn't expecting this to happen. You see that? <laughs> you see? So you're supposed to look at it like, oh, yeah, her stuff was mis mismatching. Clearly, she didn't come over here just to have some fun and then be on her merry way or get kicked out of the house. Uh, but that was her atten intention from the start. She just wanted, didn't want to look terrible while doing it. It's the same thing here, right? It's, it's a similar thing. You see how she's tried to dress herself up to be casual, um, but she, at the same time, she's trying to look as, as um, youthful as possible for the camera. He then proceeds to apologize for being 30 minutes late and says to make up for it, he'll buy me a drink. So my question is, if a man asks you out, Shouldn't he already be paying for dinner? Uh, no. Maybe years, maybe moons and moons ago, gentlemen, uh, that would be, that would be the play. But these days, guys, these girls are strong and independent. They can do, hey, I'm all about equality, guys. If they want to pay for the date, I mean, if, if they want equality, I'm, I'm good. Um, you can pay for your half of the date. How's that? Hell, I don't even recommend dates anymore, guys, to be honest with you. Um, I, I recommend keeping the dates. If you're a guy who's um, out there in the field, I'd recommend keeping the dates to a minimum. And if you are going on dates, keep it to stuff like walk in the park or or whatever the case may be. Right? These these people, you were deserving of chivalry years ago, years and years ago. Okay, not not in 2021. Let me tell you, with these dating apps going around, with the amount of options you have, um, and let me tell you this: these girls will have exercised their options. Okay, it's not as if they have these options and then they've chosen to go, oh yeah, well, I'm just going to sit here and, and not have a boyfriend or... No, they've been through the guys. They've been through the numbers. They've been through the whole shebang. Okay, and now they want to turn around and they st still think they're deserving of the chivalry and the guy paying for the dates. She's lucky he bought her a drink or even apologized. Like, I, I probably... <laughs> I don't apologize, guys. I think I think apologies is something that men in general just take out of your vocabulary. Most guys apologize way too much, especially for things that they have no control over. Just take it out of your vocabulary, guys, to be honest. Um, but guys, we're going to we're gonna jump into today's story there. So I'm just going to switch this uh, switch the screen real quickly. And we're going to jump into a quick story here on uh, the new dating scam going around. So this one is titled... He asked for separate paychecks before I even had a chance to offer to pay for myself. And this is a Reddit. I'm not going to mention the name of it. We all know what it is. But um, it's it's basically just a collection of elderly ladies uh, complaining about not getting the chivalry. Uh, or, you know, they're approaching the wall. And they're complaining like the attention's slipping. They're not getting the chivalry that they want. Um, despite the fact that they could have got their boyfriend a solid 10 years ago. Okay. 
So <laughs> imagine, right? Imagine you could have got your boyfriend 10 years ago. You've been jumping from guy to guy and you still expect the chivalry. Wow. 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 But guys, let's jump into today's story. All right. <clears throat> so I, a 28 year old female went out with a 36 year old male to a nice Italian restaurant. He wanted to go on a date with me. This is our second date. He ordered four drinks and a steak and his bill was $77. I got a small pasta and water and my bill was $22. The waiter came with the chip card and asked how we should pay before I could offer to pay for myself. He said separate and then the waitress asked if we should split it down the middle. Before I could say I just wanted to pay for my items, he said yes. So I ended up paying over, over, <laughs> over $50 for a dinner I did not really enjoy. He immediately paid on the chip card, so going back just to, pay, to just pay for my items would have been long and awkward. He walks me to my car and tries to kiss me. I, I politely decline. He's blown up my phone for dates since. Like to go on walks and see movies and go biking together. I just blocked. What the F? Edit. I, usually also, I also usually pay for myself. First dates are coffee. But if we are at a dinner, the guy will usually take the check because he eats so much more than me. I always offer to pay for what I ordered. So, you know, shout out here, right? She's offering to pay her to pay her half. And this story isn't particularly remarkable, okay? But the part that's remarkable is if we go down into the comments, uh, man, these ladies are so butthurt that he didn't uh, that he did this. Like it's not some it's not some minor issue. Maybe he didn't realize how much the check is. Uh, but let me tell you, they're they're mad that the chivalry isn't there. Okay, like this this is cool. If this get if this lady normally goes on dates, right, and pays for her half, uh, that's fine. No, nobody really cares. Um, <laughs> but these girls in the here, man, just expecting the chivalry. Okay. You don't argue with the man or the weight stuff. If you get out your wallet, put down the cost of your meal and leave. Simple as that. No words, no drama. Just excuse yourself. Who cares if it's more difficult for him after? I've had this happen before in italics. You know, what? <laughs> what? I didn't even see the name of the account. That's hilarious. That's crazy. I'm imagining, like, when I read these comments, what I imagine, guys, is, like, an elderly lady. She's got her quill out, and she's, like, dipping it in ink, furiously writing. And that's how we get the italics at the bottom. And that's just her signing off, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's see if there's any more entertaining ones in here. All right. This is how I've been, too. I always laugh at how many incels are online, swearing up and down that women as a whole expect what they can't provide. I've literally never been on a date I couldn't afford. Yeah, nobody's nobody's saying you can't afford the dates, right? These girls, they have their jobs, they have their education. Uh, you can afford the dates so damn well. You can be sure you'll be paying your half of the date. It's just... <laughs> oh, goodness me. Let's have a look at this. Agree with this. Quite frankly, this kind of BS is why I will only go on activity dates. I don't drink anyway. And it's more important to me to make sure the guy is actually interested, active and interested in some of the same things I am. This da dinner date business is just fraught with problems. Ooh, fraught with... Pr he's, he's not paying enough fraught with problems. This whole thing of like... The attitude behind all of these is if a man asks you on a date, he has to pay. As if he's gifted with your presence. Have you guys noticed that theme there? It's like, if the guy asks you out, then they automatically assume that your your presence, their presence, is a gift to the guy and that they should pay for it. And their excuse is, oh, well, I always, I've got to do my hair. And uh, he doesn't have to get ready the same way I do. So that's why he's paying more. Like, how about you just be an adult and do your hair and show up on time? Okay? Like... <laughs> Your time isn't that valuable, all right? Pipe down. But guys, let's have a look at this one here. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, let me just move over so you guys can see. I haven't read this one uh, fully, but I, I thought it was a good read, and I do want to spoil it for myself. So we're going we're gonna to jump into this one together right now. All right, so this has something to do with single mothers, I'm pretty sure. A uh, single mother is eaten alive with loneliness. Beautiful. Let's crack into it. The title is, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. These days, I'm really not sure that I'm cut out for this. Strong enough for this, or smart enough, all of it. Maybe that's why I'm having such a hard time. I love my son more than anything I've ever loved before, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. That should be enough, right? The love I feel for my son should be enough. The love I have for my son should be enough. The joy my son brings, brings me should be enough to fill up my life. 
things have been really hard lately, especially with my child's father. I know that this sounds dramatic, but I'm starting to wonder if I'll, if I'll, if I'll, I know that this sounds dramatic. All oh, right, it's a stitch. Uh, but I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever truly be happy, if I am even meant to be here. All I was meant for was <laughs> is this loneliness and sadness that eats me alive every day, thinking I don't think... It's hard to read, guys, because I've kind of got two screens up, so you'll have to bear with me here. Thinking I don't think I'm meant to be his mom. I feel like I have no business having a baby. I take care of him the best way I can, come home, and I make sure he has everything he needs, even on the days where I don't shower and I don't move. I make sure that he does. What, what, if that's not enough? He deserves a happy mom, and what if I can't get happy? What if I can't find the switch that everyone speaks about when they say happiness is a choice? Because more than that, anything I want to make, I want to make that choice. I'm consumed, and I'm scared. Okay, guys, now you may, on, on first read of this, you may think, oh, what a poor lady. Okay, but these girls who are single mothers, the reason why they're single mothers is terrible decision making. Okay, society will frame it like this. This is really sad, okay, because society frames a situation like this. Society will say, okay, well, if he was a real man, he would be there. You've got to understand, a lot of these men are either A, forced out of the situation. Okay, a lot of, a lot of men are removed from the family through the courts or whatever the case may be on that side. Um, but then the other thing is like, if, let's just say it was a Chad that she had the child with and she's lonely and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, she didn't have to give access to that Chad. You see that? It's like these people, they have the decision, the decision making in their hand, <laughs> in their hands of the people that they date and that they choose to see. And then they'll see Chad's, they'll get dashed on, they'll be left with a kid and then they'll cry about it. Okay. It's, <laughs> they don't respect themselves at all. And here's the really insidious part. Okay. So these girls will, uh, they'll go through the situation, right? Usually they'll kick out the guy who is actually interested in them. Okay. Um, but let's just say it was a chat and they're single and lonely or whatever. Who cares? They'll get to the point and they'll go, okay, well, I'm going to be able to... I'm, my only option here is I'm going to have to milk a simp. Okay? I'm going to have to get a guy who will take care of my kid um, and get a different dad to raise it. Okay? So that guy comes along and he just gets absolutely used for his money or whatever the case may be. And make no mistake, she's not attracted to him. She's absolutely not. Okay? And guys, we're going to wrap up today's video by having a look at a couple more things super real quick. Now, this is a lady, 22 years of age. You can <laughs> you can kind of see her face here. It's it's cut off at the top. Um, but let's just have a look at the, the effort that these ladies are putting into their bios in 2021 on dating profiles. Wow. Craziness. Uh, if you guys are looking at something else, you're not uh, looking at the screen right now. The bio says <clears throat> she's 22. She's 17 miles away. And uh, she's written... Just looking for a guy to spend money on me. I mean, really. Like, are we supposed to... Girls will put in their bios, man, and they'll think that we're supposed to be impressed by these little... They aren't jokes. Men are, men are not interested in doing those things for you. Okay? Like, these girls think that they're the prize, and they think that they're deserving of that, all this and that. And they get a rude awakening, man, especially as the wall comes. Okay? Now, let me see if I can pull up the very last article here for you guys. Um... And it was about, what was it about? Oh, yeah, men paying on dates, expecting men to pay on dates for a date is apparently toxic now. So let's see if I can switch the screen accurately over here, and we're going to move it over. Now, just, just look at the title of this, okay? Let's have a look. Expecting men... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me move the screen a little bit, gentlemen. I'll make it a bit bigger. All righty. Expecting men to pay for a date is apparently toxic now like anyone cares about his opinion. Here's the thing about paying for dates, okay? Paying for, men wouldn't really have a problem paying for dates if the girls were actually worth it, okay? If Chad wasn't coming over, or sorry, if Chad wasn't inviting these girls over at 2 a.m. and they weren't willingly, happily going to his house um, every day of the week, men might consider paying for dates. But as it stands, man, these girls have got incredibly high body counts and they still think that they're entitled to the chivalry they're not guys they're not if you're a guy out here you're spending you know money on dates and all that kind of thing just realize that that girl that you're paying for the date uh for she's already she's already had her fun like she's already had her fun for that week 
Okay, so you think that you're being nice and kind. All it's showing is lack of respect for yourself because a man who respects himself would not be laying down this kind of commitment to the girls who don't deserve it. But guys, we're going to wrap up today's video there. Um, as always, leave your comments, leave your thoughts below. What did you think? I'm um, curious to see what you guys think. I try and read all the comments, but at the moment it's getting a bit full. Uh, so feel free to share with each other and share your experiences and I'll try and have a read through, gentlemen. Um, it's always good to see what you guys see, especially uh, there's, we've got a lot of ex-married guys over here, a lot of divorced guys who come back to the dating scene and they realize, man, this this is not what it used to be. Because there used to be a time when you could pay for dates and it would be okay. But now, man, it's like you just get used for your money. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe on your way out. Come and join the Discord link in the description if you haven't already. And as always, if you'd like to support the channel, make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description. If you're interested in becoming a supporter, the link should be uh, somewhere below. But we're going to leave it there. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, and I will see you boys in the next one. Peace.